Maybe someone should go turn on the power now. Am I always needing more ammo? You see what happens when you touch Nikolai? Die, Satan's minions! I'm out of ammo! Maybe I should just drink instead. Piss on someone. Alright, man, I have... Why is no one caring about my lack of ammo? You know how to say owned in Russian? Owned! Aggression, filthy worm train! So you're dead now, but you were dead before! Ah, fuck you! Doctor order.
Careless dogs, give me ammo! to fetch our souls again! Die, hell dog! Ah, I got fur in my mouth! Why am I so heavy now? The way this map's looking as well, it kind of reminds me of, I can't remember the name of the map though, from World of War, the more online map, where it's got the shop with the building that's broke down. This is proper socialist reform. Demon hell pigs. It's that clicking again. Oh, ammo. <laughs> now that's what I call a goulash. Die now, son of bitch! How shiny she is! A minigun. This will make demon holes nicely. What map is this? It literally recently came up on... Oh, I forgot to put it in my tile, didn't I? Oh, I forgot to put the name of the map in the tile.
because I always put the name of the map in the title. I've just updated it. I've just updated the title. It's the name of the map. I've just forgot me saying because I normally put it in map. But, but I normally put it the name of the map in the title that I'm playing on. Either I'm surrounded or I'm seeing double. I drink to the nuclear bomb. A toast to a brilliant weapon. First it takes my money, then it disappears, just like my fourth wife. Yep. That's the name of the map. This is this map that I'm obviously the map that I'm playing on is the person that's created it. It's the first ever map that they've created. And it reminds me of the it's a multiplayer map off World of War. Set me their soul. I just can't remember the name of it though. I have Waltka for you. Well, to be fair, it has been years since I've played World of War. And I'm probably dead. Ooh. I have issue. It just reminds me of the multiplayer map from World of War, where it's just because of this building, that building there, that one. See that building? It is happy hour. Well, you can kind of say like they all of them look the same, but it's because of this building. Because on the multiplayer map, it's a sweet shop. And then you could run through the sweet shop because that used that's like the spawn point. And then on the right hand side, say over there, kind of like that building there, it's like a, a butcher's shop. And then it's got Why like am a. I so heavy now? It's got like a fountain esque in the middle of the like side left of the map. The wall that you can crash under. Let's stay healthy. Because where that spawn where that wall is. If I remember that's where the one of the where, that's where one of the plant places are for search, set and destroy. Because, say, if you come around this building, say, if you're running from the sweet shop, then you've got the building in front of you that you could climb over the wall or jump into the window to get into the building. I just, for the love of money, though, I just... I just can't remember the name of the map. Like I said, it's been a very long time since I've played World of Warcraft. 
<laughs> oh, there you go then. Because I don't really look at the descriptions. I just basically just download the map and then play it. Spawns, die! What is happening? That music sucks. I need another drink. I can definitely tell because it's well, it's got Black Ops One weapons, as you can see. This is nice and light. Hello, beautiful. I will cock you gently. Pigs. I might just get rid of this since it's so slow at running. But first, though, I want to see what it's like. Oh, is good. I can have more drink. Don't worry, guys. Nikolai is coming for you. I just killed a billion zombies. Why is no one helping? Also, the gun is very loud. Where it needs to be since it's a death machine. Death to you, demon spawn! Or you can just loosely say it's like the... It's loosely the minigun from... Mob. me protect my vodka hello zombies I am coming for you ha, you cannot even beat a drunk Soviet I'm certain as well, Black Ops 1. Because obviously we know these models, well, these models ain't from Black Ops 1, they're just from Zombie Chronicles. Just put. I'm pretty sure Black Ops 1 is actually the only zombies to auto include. Well, I shouldn't say it's the same include, but. Where they've actually the characters, Takio, Dempsey, Nikolai, and Richtofen. <laughs> they've actually got quotes. Oh, baby, we do the 59, eh? <laughs> um, they've actually got quotes for when they pick up their own, when they pick up their favorite weapon. Down, Suka! I think I'm gonna buy this door since they're spawning behind there. Well, apart from obviously Black Ops spawn. But... Oh! Since with the whole specialist, since you've obviously got the DG4s, the Katana, playing for a death with machine. the doctor order. Origins, they do have some dialogues. Yeah, but it's not like. It is happy hour. It's a weird one. Because I know for Black Ops 1, or well, for, for Dempsey, plus even, even can kind of say that though. They are. They are obviously, they are two different people. 
got different personalities. So we're obviously going to be different. Since this is proper socialist reform. Because there's, there's a quote. I'm pretty sure it is from Black Ops 1. Again, there's a quote from Dempsey when you... When you've obviously on Hell Hands. When you kill a dog, he says that I, I hate dogs. He says something like he hates dogs, but he likes cats. He's more of a cat person. And then I'm pretty sure... The Dempsey from Origins, he prefers dogs to cats. Since like they are two persons. Exactly what I need. Guess me, I'm running right. Then we can juggle right here. Reach for what to But yeah, with Black Ops One. Right between the guns. The M16. Actually, they've got two. I've just remembered. They've actually got two favorite weapons. I know that Dempsey has. No, no for you. When you always play solo, you always play as Dempsey. Because Dempsey's favorite weapons is the Olympia I like it rough, and the M16. There is two favorite weapons. Because he's even got dialogue. He's got literally in quotes towards those weapons. Just with the doctor order. Because he likes the Olympia when it's pack a punch because it shoots fire. fire Capitalism. If you can't beat them, eh. Because I know with Takio, is it the Akasaka or whatever? Holding this up makes my arm so or whatever. Tired. The sniper from the sniper is from World at War. It's the it's on Shuno Numa. It's on Shuno Numa and Verrucht. Because it's it's in the starting rooms. Oh no, it's not on Verrucht because that's the that's the Springfield. Because the Arasaka is off. It is on Shuno Numa. It's on the wall. In the starting room. And then Rick Toffins is the MP40. And obviously the Wonder Waffer. And then... Rick Toffin, Your children are becoming annoying! And lost his head. I can't remember Nikolai's though. Fire I'll drink to your death. Nikolai cannot die. Hey, that rhymes. I don't like its beady little eyes. Let's yeah, his play favorite fetch weapon the is the Colt M16. He says it in Kino. Yeah, I know for Dempsey. I, I know. I'm, I know for facts because, like I said, every time you played solo back on Black Ops Wolf, One, die, Demon Spawn. You're always playing as Dempsey. And I can remember you buy the Olympia, and then you pack a punch it. And then when you get it, it says, it says something like a gun that that a gun that shoots fire. Awesome. Why am I so heavy now? And then when you buy, when you get the M16 off the wall, it says he's got that unique code towards it. Oh, this is like standing in grocery line. This sniper as well, this sniper, the MSG, the SMG sniper, is the big reason why snipers 
100% are so underrated in zombies. Because when you pack a punch at it, it turns it into a shock. The Red Army cannot be overrun! And this is back on Black Ops 1. As you can see, you pack a punch at it. Turns it into a three bullets. I Go. drink to the nuclear bomb. Look, shoots three bullets. Well, I, uh, turns it, it technically turns it into a shotgun since it shoots three bullets. And then, mate, hey, just imagine if uh, if they created black, if they created the new version of double tap. My on black tap is one. now doubled, but not my locker. It would have definitely been very underrated, since you can't really, since there was no such thing as double to, double tap 2.0 on Black Ops 1 since it was created on Black Ops 2. Nikolai is coming for you. So that obviously means now the gun's going to shoot six bullets. So it's literally a shotgun. All snipers are very underrated. I'll drink to your death. The only sniper that everyone likes is obviously the SVU from Black Ops 2. Same again, it's because of Double Tap. But if Double Tap 2.0 was on Black Ops... Damn, Black Ops 1, this sniper would have been insane. Just look at that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's, ba it's basically, this is technically a shotgun now. It's a shotgun sniper. Feels like I'm using. Feels like I'm using the models all over again on Black Ops from uh, from Modern Warfare 2. So you're dead now, but you were dead before. Ah, fuck you. Literally one of the main reasons why I loved using this sniper on Black Ops 1 because it was genuinely a shotgun. It was a shotgun sniper. You don't want my soul. It probably tastes like vodka. Vodka. I think if I remember this sniper it was one shot um, I'm pretty sure this sniper was one shot to the head until round 27 I think since it's off Black Ops 1 Soul for you. But mate, if this gun was on Black Ops 2, or even this, Black Ops 3, <laughs> this sniper would have been insane. Just with the doctor. You should do a gun order. game mode on this map. Well, I don't really do stuff like that, to be fair. It'd be cool to do it, but um, 
because I can technically do it because of the mod that I've got on. Since I've got the Paragus mod on, because you can change it. I think you can. You can change it so you can change the mode to, to a gun game mode. Where you can throw the guns. But the only reason why the only reason why I've got the Paragus mod on is just because I can immediately just make it sell for the zombies. The zombies are just automatically automatically sprinting from the get-go. Because I just hate. Basically, they should have they should have had this feature since they pissing one from World of War from Natch. Since that map is so slow-paced, it's insane. But if I'm playing challenge maps, I don't put this mod on because if the map is originally a timed map, which is a AKA a challenge map, it changes it. It, put, it basically just changes it back to a normal, like a normal map. Plus, at the same time, I can restart, but I could just put I'll just put the thingy mod on so I can do a fast restart. So when I die, I can just press start and change and restart. But because I kind of wish, unless if someone's made it, but probably not. It would have been kind of cool if um, such quality manufacturing must come from motherland. Because I know the the Paragus mod's been out for a long time, and. It would have been cool if they updated it so you could actually make it so the zombies sprinted like super sprinters. More bullets, more drinks. This is not so bad. Die now, son of bitch! Because I did the mod that I used to have on before I actually checked to see if there was actually a mod. Why am I so heavy now? That allowed you just to automatically just make it so they just sprint from the get-go as soon as you start up from round one. Because I used to have the Baruch Sprinters. The Baruch Sprinters mod. So it turned all the zombies. It turned all the zombies when they started sprinting, they turned them into the Baruch Sprinters. I will make Stalin proud. It depends on the map you're playing. Maybe you're playing an Easter egg. Oh. No, no. No, it's because of the mod. I never met an MG I didn't like. It's the mod that I've got on. It's this mod. It's the Paragus mod that I've got on. You can't exactly see it at the top because of my like, thingy bottle. My follower got all. Because it also, that's why you see a rank, you just see a random icon popping up sometimes. I'm ranking up. Because that's why you see all this rewards on the right hand side when I pause it. But I've made it so I don't get any of that. I've literally just made it so I... That's why you see that, that icon there, the, well, the level up icon. So I've just leveled up. Um, Die, Satan's minions. Yeah, I know, but like what if you're playing an Easter egg map and it doesn't allow mods on it? Death to you, demon spawn. Well, nearly every single map that I've played on, I've had mods on. Communist aggression, filthy worm train. Ugh, useless. It's 
That's why you don't get fast zombies on early rounds. Whoa. The main reason why you don't get fast zombies on early rounds is because it's not a challenge map. If it's a challenge map, aka timed, if it's a timed map, that means the zombies are just going to automatically just keep spawning. And 9 out of 10, the person who created the map would have made it so the zombies would automatically start sprinting. Since it's a challenge map. But. Or did it? It did. Oh no, you couldn't get this pistol, could you? You couldn't get this pistol in zombies. Never so the same again. You change this, change this pistol into a shotgun. Kind of ironic since it was that one pistol from uh, World War Two, World War. That when you pack a punch, it turns it into a shotgun. It is happy hour. Well, that's yeah. It's like what I'm saying. It's that nine out of ten. Oh, I've just noticed. They are trying to fetch our souls again. Silverbacks in that window. Oh, no, um, but yeah, even mouth. if it's a normal map, nine out of ten, the person who created the map won't make it so the zombies are automatically sprinting from the get-go. It's just going to be like normal base zombies since since literally within the first couple of days, weeks, or whatever this game being out, Black Ops Three. Just they patched the it, they nerfed order. the zombies, so they didn't start fully start sprinting until round 20. Which I hated, because on the original release, the vanilla version of Black Ops 3, zombies was sprinting on like round 1 and 2, like literally about 2 or 3. You had that one zombie that was sprinting. But then... They nerfed it because people complained about it, saying that why is this sprinting on like running two? And it's like, mate, that's better because it's just it's just faster. But then Treyarch just nerfed them, so they didn't full on every single zombie didn't start sprinting until like round twenty, which was just like it just made it so slow pace. Like, trust me, believe me, if I could literally make all these zombies, like, if I had the Baruch Sprinters on, mod on, all these zombies would be running like the Baruch Sprinters. Which was obviously the fastest zombies could run until, obviously, Black Ops. Well, Black Ops 1, since, well, sorry, I should say Black Ops 2, when you're on the bus on transit, since they obviously literally were like super, super sprinters since you was on the bus, but it only did that when you was on the bus. Man, I'm surprised the, this one's not even made a mod for that. So the zombies are actually like super, super sprinters. They run like they run on, when you're on the bus on transit. Because I know there's one map, it's the Octagon. It's the Octagon map, the challenge map. There's three of them. Because the map makers made it so on that, they, the zombies run like super, super sprinters. So they're like instantly in your face within like the first second of them spawning. Yeah. If I could literally make all these zombies run like that, I would instantly put it on. No matter what map I'm playing. And I've also made it so as well within this Paragus mod. You can make it so the zombies haven't got a spawn delay. They they pretty much just instantly spawn. 
and I've obviously I've put that on so the zombies just instantly spawn. There's no delay. Ugh, I have more luck when I'm drunker. <laughs> I've literally just got the pistol back. But it's a different version. Yeah, man. Still, without a doubt, the zombies—I mean, the zombies, the snipers—is so underrated in zombies. Like when I said, with this, it's just because of this sniper. As soon as they made the sniper on Black Ops One, since it turned it into a shotgun, no one used it because it was a sniper. Hey, where is all the ammo at? And it's even better now since it's obviously got double tap on, double tap 2.0. Ever since the day I've seen this sniper picked it up and used it, I could actually turn it into a sniper that shot three bullets. Drunk. If this were Russia, it would be free. Just big lines. All I like is pretty. Because it was even the same on. Same again, it was literally the same on Black Ops 2. With the ballista. The ballista you sniper from, when you touch from Origins. Mate, you pack a punch that sniper, the ballista. You pack a punched it. And you, had, and you got double tap. It was one shot in. It was literally one shot in zombies in the head until Why round so thirty-two. Nikolai cannot die. Hey, that drives. The zombies were stuck around the pole. But mate, if they ever brought back this sniper, obviously it would never happen again. But. Play fetch the grenade. Oh dear. Well, I, yeah, it's like even the DSR. Yeah, the DSR. I forgot about that. The DSR is the same again. The DSR. The only, well, it's like even that though. The only reason why everyone used the DSR is because it back. When Black Ops 2 was the, like, the main, when it was the B Call of Duty, the only reason why everyone likes the DSR is because it was the sniper. Um, the only reason why people use the DSR is because everyone just liked trick shots. That's when like trick shot was a thing. It's the only reason why people like the DSR. Interesting question for you. How come you always get to ramp, get to 40 on every map and not higher? It's just because 40 has always been... Ever since I've literally started playing zombies. Ever since I've been playing zombies from World of War. Ram 40 has always been the map. Um, the map. It's always been the round that I get to. That was like my goal. 
Plus, at the same time, it kind of helps when... Um, I made a very big mess. I thought it was. This, 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 this rocket's insane. There's no blast damage neither. Stay away from my water. Because it's not originally a weapon or that you run around with. Um, yeah, sorry. Because round 40 so was easier. the round that I always got to. That was like my goal, but I have to get there flawlessly. I can't go down. That's why, because since literally from me playing zombies i never ever buy crit revive the only time i started buying crit revive is obviously because the newest zombies since they changed they basically changed the whole health regeneration for, into crit revive so you have to buy crit revive to get the normal rate health regen but 40 has just always been the round that i just get to that's like always always my goal because to me, getting to high rounds, getting to high rounds, it's not really, it's not really just a hard thing to do. Order. It's just, <clears throat> you've just got to have patience. That's literally it for getting high rounds. It's just, you've just got to get, you just got to have patience to do it. Ha! You cannot even beat a drunk Soviet! But yeah, four has always been. A fire sale! I hope they have vodka! It's always been the, the run that I get to, because, like I was saying, it also helps even more for when, um, when they obviously brought the whole camo grinding into zombies since Black Ops 3, when they actually fully made it so, um, Ever since they brought that in is the thing for zombies now. For it's, it's literally been the thing for Call of Duty. Everyone grinds the camos now. Back on this, on Black Ops 3. It used to take me probably about an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 20 minutes to get to 40. So it's like, I'll literally play a full game, get the weapon that I want to grind. Camo, well, rank it up, get the camos. Boom. And it used to take you me that long dead. just to do that weapon. So it's like, as soon as I do it right, boom, boom. As a custom mag grind, I approve your explanation. But I, I will say you can do better than 40. Oh, yeah. It's, like I said, 40 is just, it's just always been my thing. If you literally go on the Xbox, if you literally go on Xbox, go on every card that's got zombies literally every card if you go on leaderboards you'll just see every single map i got to round 40 flawlessly without going down that's it's just always been my goal to get to round 40 without going down so if i get if i get because ow my shins um it's just always been well i should say sorry I've only just started literally this year. I've only started actually been playing custom zombies. So I'm still like, I'm still used, not used to having like, I can get every single fucking perk on the map. But the person who's obviously created this map, they've only made it so you can only get four perks within the map. As you can see. Can't buy crit revive. I mean, stamina up. And... They were here. Sometimes I'm not. just still not used Such to having. I can literally have night. like every single perk that's ever been created in Zombies. Forty to me isn't considered as a high round, yeah, to a lot of people. But it's just, it's just always been my goal. It's like even when I play challenge maps, because I, I played a challenge map yesterday that you was literally kind of reminded me of uh, Poop of the Dead. You're literally just in a toilet like you're in a toilet area if that's all you got, and there's just one window a box enough. and then you've got to buy the doors for the toilets and it's obviously um each toilet's obviously got perk and then the power uh, same again i got to round 40 on that and whatnot 
I always agree, yes. The Grim Reaper from Black Ops 1 is one of the most overpowered launches in custom besides the Hellas. Yeah. Because the only reason why this is so overpowered is, is because it's not originally a weapon that you can run around with. Because as you can see, I'm literally shooting. I'm literally shooting the floor and it's not hurting me. It's because this weapon, but I'm pretty sure, wasn't it a... It was a kill streak, wasn't it? Was it a kill streak on Black Ops 1? But it was just one use, that's it. You can only shoot it once and then that's it. Because this was literally Down, the. Because the only time that you use this weapon, this rocket, is on the campaign. Uh, when you're shooting mouth. down the choppers. And that's the reason why this is stupidly strong. Why it's the blast so radius. Heavy now? It's the blast radius that does it. You can literally shoot it. Because the only reason why I thought of this is because of the Teletubbies map that I played. It's like going the same thing. Because that was the first time I got this rocket. Because it's on there. I shot the floor and I'm thinking, why the hell didn't that hurt me? And then, then I re remembered, oh, this is the rocket that you use on the Black Ops 1 campaign when you're shooting down the choppers. But I'm pretty sure you could get it as a kill streak. Yeah, I got 77 on the territories. <laughs> The Red Army cannot be overrun! <laughs> <Tell it to me. laughs> yeah, it's like... Calling it the Angel of Death is like the best thing named for this gun since you can literally shoot anywhere and it kills them. It is Except for that one. Arm. It's just the blast radius that what makes it so good. Plus, the Never fact that it doesn't hurt you. Plus, the only reason why it doesn't hurt you is because you can't originally run around with the gun like it's a normal weapon. Since on Black Ops, on the campaign, you only use it just to shoot a at a chopper. But I'm pretty certain you could get this as a, as a kill streak. But it was only a one-shot thing. I am thinking that, aren't I? But yeah, like I say, 40's just always been, it's just always been my goal. Forty's just literally just been my goal. Too bad it's not the level of the Hellion, Hellion. The Hellion, what's that? I'm going to say I'm a type of person, if you show me the picture of the thing, I'll recognize it instantly, but the names. But is, ain't the Hellion, is that the, is that the rocket from Black Ops 4? What am I thinking wrong? The launcher from Black Ops 4. Well, it's like even that though. To be fair, especially if the map, if the map's got elemental pop, because the coding for the for that perk, especially if they bring it into a, well, obviously if it's a custom map, because the co the coding that they took from that perk, you can clearly tell that they took it from Cold War. Since on Cold War you could upgrade every single perk in the game and the last upgrade for the elemental pop was the old your the rate of the the rate of the of the effect goes on your ammo reserve except of it being just normal shooting. And if you literally get if you get elemental pop on any custom zombies map, it literally turns your gun into the it literally turns the gun into the wonder Waffle, thunder gun mixed together. And it's like nearly every single shot that you do, an effect triggers. 
And I think that's the main reason why is because they took the coding from Cold War. Since a lot of things are from Cold War. And with the coding, they've obviously took that perk upgrade and it just instantly triggers all the time. Because that's why when I play custom maps as well, um, if that perk's on the map, I don't buy it. Because of that one reason. Because it just instantly just triggers nearly every single time. I have yet to run into a custom map that has both Grim Reaper and the Hellestate. Well, I don't even think that would even be possible. Any way that would be possible is if you literally contact the dude who's making the map to put the weapons in. Because even yesterday, please tell me I was recording. I was. Oh God. <laughs> 